The operator panel on an IM315 consists of a cycle counter. The cycle counter is a permanent count or record of how many completed cycles the machine has done. It's non-resettable and is a clear indication of how many cycles the machine has completed throughout its life. There is a power on button. The power on button engages and turns on the electrical control circuit and will illuminate green once activated. There's also a service indicator. The service indicator will illuminate and flash when the machine has reached a count of 10,000 cycles. This will then be a visual indication to the operator that the machine should be serviced. If the operator presses the button, the uh, indicator will turn off and remain off for approximately an hour and then it will come back. The, it's purely indication just to remind the operator the machine should be serviced. There is a carriage speed knob which will control also a film tension knob which will control at what rate the film is fed out of the powered control stretch which um, creates the uh, load and tension load containment and the tension to the pallet. The um, carriage raise selector switch. So this is a spring return selector switch for manually running the carriage up or running the carriage down. This is the top bottom wraps. So this is the number of wraps you want at the top of the pallet and at the bottom of the pallet. If you select one, it will do one revolution of wraps at the bottom and the top, two and three. Turntable jog, again, is a manual function to be able to jog the turntable around. And then there is the wrap cycles. Wrap cycle one is known as a one-way or light wrap. This allows the machine to wrap the bottom of the, the uh, pallet or the product run up, wrap the top, and stop. So this will then, the operator will then cut the film and therefore being a light or one-way wrap. Cycle two is a two-way wrap, which is, it will wrap the bottom, wrap the pallet up, wrap the top, wrap the bottom pallet down, and then come to a stop. Cycle two is probably the most common cycle used out in industry at the moment. Cycle three is very similar to cycle two, except it has a stop at the top for a top sheet application. So the cycle works by wrapping the bottom, wrapping up to the product, up to the top, and stopping. This will allow the operator to place a top sheet and then press the start button once again. It will then wrap in the top sheet and then run all the way down. The auto start button to begin all the cycles and a pause reset button. When in cycle, if this button is pressed, it will pause the cycle to allow the operator to maybe uh, adjust the load or um, apply a label. Um, if it's out of a cycle and the machine needs to be sent home, then you would press this button and it will reset the machine, turntable back to home position, carriage down to the bottom. Emergency stop, as, um, as defined, it's to be used for an emergency. If something goes wrong or if, if the uh, pallet is moved, then the uh, operator can hit the emergency stop, which will then cut all power to all of the drives and um, stop the machine dead. The IM315 is fitted with a powered control stretch film head. So this particular film head will stretch the film between two powered rollers creating up to 200% stretch. The way that this film head works is that the film path is presented through the uh, film door and then once the film door is closed it actually forces the film around the rollers and allowing it to create a stretch point in between. So the outer roller runs faster than the inner roller, causing a stretch point. This particular film head has a load, film load diagram stuck on the top, and the film load diagram 
shows two types of film path and one is for if you were using to blown film the other is if you were using cast film so this film head is designed to take both types so to load the film simply open the door you place the roll on the bottom seat you then push down the mandrel to approximately 50% of the spring tension. You then lock the mandrel into position. Pull out enough film to pass through the film door. It is then placed in front of the stretch rollers and behind the door idler rollers and following the film path guide it is threaded around the dancer roller. The operator then closes the door and the film has now been loaded. Simply pulling on the film head a film, you can see that it is the electric motor is engaged and drives the stretch rollers and for the film out. The IM315 is fitted with up and down limit switches which sets the maximum and minimum height the carriage can travel. It also is fitted with a photoelectric sensor which is also known as a PE. Now these sensors will detect any product that's placed on the turntable and what that will do is through the cycle the PE will then say I'm at the top and then it will do the top wraps so therefore the operator doesn't have to worry about what heights of pallets he's putting on there as the carriage will automatically detect the height and band in the top um, it uses a type of infrared light that um, will see the product the IM315 is fitted with a compliance plate. It clearly shows the model, the voltage, and the serial number. The serial number is unique to each machine, and if the operator needed to contact um, us for a service technician or whatever it may be, they'll need to reference the serial number. It also displays the kilowatt rating of the machine, the efficiency, and the manufactured date. The IM315 carriage is driven up and down by an electric motor and gearbox, which is fitted with what a sprag clutch. So the sprag clutch allows the carriage to, motor to slip if the carriage encounters any obstacles on the way down. Um, this one will prevent damage to the machine, and two, if somebody's foot was caught under there, it wouldn't continually drive and crush them. So it's basically a safety feature. Here an example. If somebody was standing here and the carriage came down, you can see there it's trying to drive but it's slipping on the clutch and the carriage is just resting on my foot. If the uh, machine was out of home, so for example the carriage was up and the turntable had been jogged around into the wrong position, all the operator needs to do is press the reset button and it will all go home. You will see here the table rotates in a slow speed. Again, this is for um, safety reasons. The, so once you've loaded the film head, simply pull on the film and it will feed through and then attach it to the load. And it's just simply making sure that you've got the correct wrap cycle that you want, the number of top and bottom wraps that you require, and then press the auto start.
Once the wrap cycle is completed, the operator just simply taps the fills and takes the load away. The IM315 is manufactured in China, but to our specifications, to Australian standards, and to all the relevant compliances. So you will see here, as an example, all the wiring color codes meet the uh, Australian wiring regulations, standard circuit breakers, which are found here in Australia, Allen Bradley drives, all these components here are off the shelf anywhere in Australia. Um, we went through a lot of effort to ensure that the machines were built to Australian standards and meet all the required machine building codes so that um, there is obviously no issues in any of the um, states and territories and the machines are easily repaired as all the components are locally sourced. Simply just pull the film through the film head 